What's up, everybody? It's been a while since we covered uh, anything from Logitech in terms of mice. And today we have a uh, new what they uh, announced at their Logiplay event. And uh, um, it's something refreshed, I do have to say. This is the Logitech Pro 2 Lightspeed Gaming Mouse. It comes in white, it comes in black, and I think eventually, if I'm not mistaken, it's going to be pink, just like the past version when we're talking about this mouse. So what's it all about with this? As I said, it's a revised, updated, refreshed version of mouse, and I can say it's not getting boring with this kind of stuff, but let's be honest. When the first edition came out, everybody was uh, really excited about, and in general, in those terms, people are really liking to stick to something that is proven to do completely outstanding performance and all the other stuff, right? So what they did with this mouse, they placed a new Hero 2 sensor, they did um, upgrades on the maximum speed and some other stuff, but we'll get to those parts uh, quite soon. What we have right here is four adjustable or removable switches. You can adjust the side buttons. This is what I'm talking about. You can adjust the side buttons on the left and on the right, giving you a possibility to basically reorganize everything as you wish, because this mouse has the possibility to either have from four to eight buttons. This comes to a point where you have left and right click, you have middle click on the scroll wheel, and these side ones are removable. You can place a blank here, which is in the accessory box, or you can place an actual button. And the stock as it comes is that on the right side, you don't have anything, it's blank, uh, those fillers, but you can use the buttons that are inside and place them here to get the actual clicks. Now, that's the top side. You have three indication lights for the either battery or let's see, yeah, the DPI switch actually does go up and down with these three switches, even though you have a five profile DPI settings in the Logitech G Hub. But when you actually switch through, because there are three lights, it actually changes the color. We have a light sync here with the G logo on the top part of the mouse. And when we go at the bottom part, we have PTFE feet, of course, uh, four of the, five of those, sorry, five of those, because one is around the optical sensor, three around the power play possibility, because you have this one right here, and you can store your USB dongle right here in the bottom part compartment, but uh, that's it, and you have one at the top. Apart from that, and the sensor, we have the DPI switch button, and we have an on-off switch as well, which is quite logical. The cool thing is, you finally have a Type-C connection at the top, which brings us to another point. This is the uh, dongle that you get inside. Of course, it's already labeled as Pro 2 if you have multiple devices, and you have this extender, which also has Type-C, so you basically connect it to your cable that comes with USB Type-A, to USB Type-C for charging, first and foremost, and then you can extend the wireless connection, even though that's totally unnecessary because it usually works without any hiccups. Now, when we're talking about the first and the second version, there are some differences, but not major ones in terms of drastical changes. So we go with the weight, which is 80 grams in both versions, and the dimensions are also the, the same 125 times 63.5 times 40. Both have onboard memory and both have buttons from 4 to 8, depending on your configuration. Now for the sensor, the older one had Hero 25K, which means from 100 to 25.6K DPI, and the Hero 2 sensor, which is in this mouse, we have from 100 to 32,000 DPI resolution. Pulling rate on both is 1000 Hz. We have maximum speed on the original Pro version, 400 IPS, while on this one is 500 IPS. Maximum acceleration is about 40 G on both. And then we go with the battery. Now, this is the biggest improvement, what I noticed, between these two mice, apart from the optical sensor and one more thing, but this is, um, well, I would say this is quite nice. So we have default lightning, 48 hours on the first version, and then we have 60 on this one. So that's 12 hours additional gameplay. And without any lights, which basically you don't need, 60 hours with no light on the first version and 95 hours on this one. That's 35 hours more, which is outstanding. I do have to admit, and it looks nice even without the lightning. So you can go with that and have a mouse that could rock up to 95 hours. Now, when we go to the switches, unfortunately for the first version, 
I don't really know which are they. But here we have switchable magnetic and they are called light force switches, which I already presented to you in the past mouse that I covered. I think it was G502X. And uh, yeah, the, also the difference is that we have a type C. So what's this? We have an ambidextrous symmetrical mouse, which is suitable for left-handed and right-handed just because you can reorganize the side buttons which gives you an option to use it with your left hand and to use it with your right hand it's all up to you to decide so i'm really digging the symmetrical design because first of all i always use for gaming symmetrical mice uh, gives you a possibility to really well it's all on personal preferences so i won't go into that but uh when we're talking about this mouse, you can go with pong grip, you can go with claw grip, you can really go however you want, and it's really nicely sliding. So for instance, my main gaming mouse is G303 Shroud Edition, and when we compare it to this one, this one actually slides much, much better than the G303, and that one also had PTFFE. These are 100% PTFFE. I think that that's the the thing but uh, apart from everything it has light sync it has zero filtering smoothing and acceleration so they couldn't lower down the grams maybe they did but the bigger battery maybe that's what happened or maybe they managed to somehow consolidate the battery to last longer but with a different technology or anything similar to that all in all we have a couple of drastical changes we have the new Hero 2 sensor, we have the optical switches, we have, of course, the long la longer lasting battery. And when you go into the Logitech G Hub, for instance, you can adjust the lights, of course, with light sync. You can adjust the button per key, so individual adjustment, which gives you also an option to do some macros or whatever you need to do while gaming and stuff like that. And uh, you can also adjust those five stages of DPI, which gives you an option to switch them in-game, even though I don't like the button for DPI switching at the bottom. Because if you want to do something quickly and switch DPI for something that will be more suitable for you, it's obvious that it should be on top. But Logitech decided to do this as it is, most likely because listening to those uh, esports players that prefer the G Pro instead of any other mouse. That's just my opinion, so yeah, it's all up to that. But uh, apart from that, what you could also do is choose a hybrid mode or full optical mode of the switches. The hybrid mode gives you an option to save battery even longer, well, basically use the mouse even longer and have more life out of your battery. If you go full optical, then it gives you an option to basically just get the advantages of the optical switches while lower down the battery life. So all in all, it's a refresh model. It has three significant changes, which I already mentioned, just going to go quickly through them. We have light, light force switches, we have a new sensor, and we have longer lasting battery. That's it. That's it. No change in the weight, no change in the dimensions. So it's a refreshed into the better, definitely. Don't get me wrong. But uh, I'm still looking forward when Logitech decides to just recreate, not recreate, just uh, invent another mouse that will be wow, that will shock the market or whatever they did before. They didn't do that for quite some time, I do have to say. This is a great mouse. If you're having the prior version and your battery is, you know, you're charging it every single day and you should definitely go with this one and swap it up because uh, if you're used to the original um, shape of your past mouse this is definitely the way to go but if you have a new G, G Pro 1 unless of the switches and the battery there's no point that's just my honest opinion uh, but all in all yeah I mean if you're looking for a new mouse this could maybe be it of course there's the point of the price tag and if it suits you and your budget so I won't go into that uh, segment uh, just now but uh, yeah Cool shape, cool design, love the matte finish, black and white, perfect. Indication lights are quite um, solid in terms of giving you indication about the DPI and most likely the battery as well. But love the symmetrical design because finally we have, well, apart from the past model, we have a mouse that is suitable for left-handed and right-handed people. So this is outstanding because it gives you 
possibility to switch as you wish and if you need to do that of course don't get me wrong so yeah uh, this was logitech g pro 2 light speed uh we have it in black and white you heard everything and i'll just place the links in the description below so you could choose the color or uh, just do anything that you desire or you think it's uh, good for you yeah that's all there is to it uh in the meantime before you click and go away from this channel don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and click the notification bell for future content coming quite shortly. Bye-bye.